We've seen Mesmer working and taken a look under the skin. Now let's look at the modules which go into building a robot. We have the forearm and hand, each with seven motors. The upper arms each have two motors, and then the amazing shoulders, each of these have four high power motors. And the four motors on the neck deliver truly lifelike motion. And every good neck needs a head. The head is actually built of several sub-modules. The eye unit, which is eight motors. The brow unit, which is four motors. We've got two motors in the lips, two motors in the jaw, and the head turn is also in here. That's another one. Of course, people come in all shapes and sizes, and Mesmer modules do too. Long arms, short ones, broad shoulders and narrow ones, long necks and short ones. And the torso chassis, which includes the microphone and speaker, and for safety and reliability, the smart power distribution board, which continuously monitors everything on the robot. Mesmer robots don't walk yet, but the legs can be built in a wide range of poses. The design is driven by photogrammetry, scans of real people. So let's see how all of this goes together. Mesmer systems also include an optional rack mount controller. This provides connections such as DMX lighting, balanced line audio and digital I.O. Many useful functions can be triggered from the front panel. Time to wake up, Cleo. Anymore. 